Well, when learning a subject, students do not just learn its content. They also learn ways of thinking and develop what we call subject-specific literacies. This, in turn, goes hand in hand with an increased awareness of how language is used in this particular subject area to communicate content. And since learning occurs through more than one language, students become pluriliterate in this subject. Bearing this in mind, the Adiba materials are designed according to both the pluriliteracy's approach to teaching and the principle of explicitness. What does that mean? Teachers usually break down complex concepts while transforming them into everyday language. However, for students to gain a deeper understanding of these concepts, it is important to also make the cognitive steps more explicit and let students actively construct and communicate knowledge. This can be achieved by adhering to six principles in particular. First, sharing your objectives with the learners. Be explicit about the purpose of the activity. Build on the concepts and competences they have already learned and activate their prior knowledge. Along the way, cognitive activation and constructive support are key for learning success. Second, make thinking explicit. Let your students use think alouds. Help them to talk through their thinking processes and ask them to verbalize why they are solving a problem in a particular way. Third, letting students experiment with language. Students shouldn't be afraid to take communicative risks. All voices should be heard regardless of students' level of language competence. Allow students to make errors and mistakes and provide feedback later. Feedback is also a major component of students' improvement. Fourth, providing models. Learners should be encouraged to produce a variety of texts and genres that are typical of the respective subject domain. Thus, educators should model subject-specific language use. Encourage students to describe and highlight its quality and features so they can plan their own version. Fifth, making peer feedback and editing processes a genuine component in all learning episodes. This makes learning visible which is a strong motivational factor, for example, according to self-determination theory by DC and Ryan 1985. At the same time, it shows learners that multiple perspectives can help them to improve and refine their competencies. Sixth, training strategic knowledge. Assist learners in understanding and reflecting on the learning strategies they use and the way they learn in general. Students need to gradually take charge of their own learning processes over time. This can be realized by following three general steps as suggested in the model of self-regulated learning by Schmitz and Wiese, 2006. One, planning one's own learning, which includes the preparation of the learning environment, the elimination of distractions, and the choice of specific learning strategies, for instance. Two, carrying out the learning activity, which includes monitoring and adapting. Three, evaluating one's own learning process and its outcomes. Learners need to reflect on what they did and how well it worked to come up with a sort of mission statement for the future and continuously improve. In summary, don't just simplify the complex content, concepts and procedures by breaking them down into more manageable chunks. You also need to help learners to acquire subject-specific language, to self-regulate their learning processes, and to master different ways of constructing knowledge. Support them by making the cognitive steps explicit and by modeling the formal language required to become pluriliterate.